Hi guys, so as always I have my rough sketch ready but I'm just going to show you the shape of the hair. Just like this you want to create the rough sketch for the hair and you want to make sure that you are giving a lot of volume to the hairstyle. Okay, just how I have given it. It's a very simple rough sketch for the hair. It's very easy to create these kind of curls and create this whole hairstyle shape. So that's why I didn't add it in the tutorial. Now here I have the palette and I'm starting off with adding the base color as always. So that's what I'm doing and the brush that I'm using is Tattoo Inker and this is the brush I'm actually going to be using pretty much the whole tutorial. It just I just switch in between maybe some airbrush later on but that's the brush we're going to be using. So the first step is to always add the base color and always make sure when you're adding the base color when you're creating this kind of hairstyle or this kind of hair type that you make sure that you create the shape the way it is already around the edges like I am doing around right here that is really important obviously that's I'm stating the obvious but just I wanted to make sure that you guys understand what we're doing here so I'm just going to quickly fill in this hairstyle with this color and then I'm just going to come back again and explain to you the next steps now for the next step I am picking up a black color because the hair color I chose is very very dark also make sure to lock the layer okay so that the color is not spilling out the shape we are using this black color to create some shadows here and there so that it does not look flat okay so it obviously depends on the base color you have chosen but for me I wanted to use black here now I'm going ahead and picking up this lighter color and I'm picking up my brush tattoo inker and I'm now going to create these little s and little c's to create this um, really coiled up kind of hair strand if that makes any sense it's really really easy and what I did is I kept on decreasing the opacity of the brush as I was drawing these hair strands on the back side of the hair because I wanted them to look lighter and I wanted the um, hair strands to look more pigmented at the front part of the face if that makes any sense so that's what you want to do on the other side as well it's really easy you just have to create these little s these little c's and you have this really nice coiled up looking kind of hair strand so that's what we're doing once that was done I went back to the shape where we filled in the shape with the color and and I added these hair strands around the edges of the whole hairstyle so that it looks natural. That's an essential step. You cannot miss out on this. Again, all you have to do is create little letter S and little letter C's to create this kind of coiled up hair strand. It's again really easy especially with the brush that I'm using right now. So that's what we did and I also added some on the face as well so that it looks like a natural kind of hairstyle. So that's what you want to do. Add some over the face as well because that's how this hairstyle or this hair type usually is. Now I'm taking black color and I'm adding it right at the bottom of that of those hair strands that we created initially with a lighter color just to give it more depth all right so obviously i'm doing it um in a layer which is underneath the layer where i created these coiled up hair strands with a lighter color that's what you want to do it's already looking good like you can just you know just skip everything else and you're done but i'm just going to show you how to make it look that much more natural and kind of realistic not completely realistic but somewhat realistic okay so that's what I did right here now I'm changing my brushes type from what it originally was to colorless brush to just lightly blend these hair strands and again it's you don't have to blend everything out keep it there but I'm just blending out the harshness of it all so that it looks as if it is a part of the whole hairstyle all right so this is the similar step you want to follow for the darker color strands we drew underneath the lighter ones as well all right and if you did not really know about the brush type thing I also recently got to know about it I have a video on it by the way but yeah that's amazing that you can actually change your brushes type to any type of brush that you want to use smudge brush colorless brush depends on you here I am changing the brush type to glow now and I'm going to be using this brush to add some kind of highlight to the hairstyle and I'm using 
using the lightest color from the palette, which is again a brown color, but because this is a globe brush, that color is gonna just look very vibrant and bright, right? And now you don't really have to add this kind of highlight all over, just add some strands here and there, wherever you want the light to be, all right? That's what I'm doing here. I'm just gonna follow it on the other side as well. I'm just gonna speed through the process a little bit, but it just really makes the hair cell look really really good like really realistic looking i wouldn't say that it's realistic i would say semi-realistic but it looks natural and flowy and it's and very healthy looking okay so that's how you actually create coiled up kind of curls on autodesk sketchbook the main brush that i used in this video was tattoo inker i kept on um, changing the brush type so that i can just play around with the hairstyle and i also did use airbrush i used it just to add shadows here and there but that's it so i hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you did give this video a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel and i will see you guys in my next video